hey guys welcome to my channel so what we are gonna do in this video is uh, use passport google oauth uh, on our express application in node.js so let's get right into it so uh, before proceeding any further make sure uh, you have generated the express application and uh, now we will be installing all the npm packages we will be needing for this uh, we will be needing passport and uh, also the another package we are uh, obviously gonna need is this one passport google oauth 2.0 and just go ahead and uh, install these dependencies okay so once you are done uh, go over to uh, scroll a bit down and go over to google developer console and uh, from here uh, go on top and uh, create a new application new project and uh, from here name it uh, create project and name your application like OAuth example and click on create Okay, so once uh, once your application is created, uh, go back to the dashboard. And then select your uh, and select your uh, application. And click on configure consent screen. Now from here select external and click on create. Okay now so for the application name I am just gonna name it OAuth example and you can upload an application logo and whatever you wanna do. So this three will be uh, our allowed scope for the Google API and, and that's all click on save. now uh, go back to credentials and just create on uh, click on create credentials and select OAuth client id now from the drop down in application type click on web application and uh, change the name to whatever your application is gonna be for me i am just gonna name it OAuth example and this one is important uh, for the OAuth redirect URIs. Click on add URI and uh, write the URL in which you want to redirect and then click on create. Okay, so once your OAuth client is created, you will find your client ID and your client secret right here. So these two are what we are going to actually need here so now open up your editor of your choice and head over to app.js so before doing anything inside app.js we will create a new file and name it authenticate.js and now in here we will import uh, the two libraries uh, one's passport uh, and uh, the Google O Passport, Google OAuth 2.0. Okay, so um, without typing it manually, you can just head over to the passport documentation and just uh, fetch these things from here. Okay, so we will obviously be using uh, the strategy from Passport Google OAuth 2.0. Uh, now before doing anything to the below lines of course we will have to serialize our application serialize our user um, so serialize user and then from here we will pass a callback with our user and uh, done and then we will be writing the function here for for now um, I am just gonna call the done function here and keep the error as null and pass user.id 
uh, and also similarly I will create the deserialize function and this will be just the same as a valve okay now coming to the interesting part we have passport.use new google strategy so what we are gonna do here is uh, copy our client id from what we got from google developer console and just paste it here so if you are uh, making a big application which is production based make sure to key, uh, make a uh, different file for this one uh, this for storing this user ids and we are also going to copy client secret okay so also don't forget to change the callback url here and always use the one that you listed on the google developer console application otherwise it is going to throw an error so once you are done uh, creating all the options for the strategy uh, i will go ahead and delete this part so what we are going to do in this part is uh, just call the cb function or the done function and uh, so basically what you can do right here is if we, whenever your user is registered or like uh, logged in with google if they, if they don't have an account you can register their account on your database and stuff like that so for now i am not using any database any kind of database so i will just leave a comment here uh, register user here for your ease and uh, i will call the done or cb function with uh, null and profile so i will also be console logging the profile right here okay uh, now that was everything uh, that was needed inside the app dot uh, inside the authenticate file so now moving forward uh, we need we now need to create some routes here so before creating route i will uh, import passport um now i will go down just above the error i will app, uh, write app dot use passport uh, dot initialize uh, next i will create uh, the routes for logging and using google so i will name the route google slash google and here i will write passport dot authenticate and i will be using the google strategy in here and also uh, regarding the scopes i will be using the profile scope um, that was all for the authentication route and now the callback route for the authentication app dot get make sure to give uh, use the same route as you have specified google slash callback and uh, here uh, according to the documentation so uh, we are going to pass this one obviously i don't have a like a login or fa failure redirect route so make sure also to create one if you have failed to log in it will redirect uh, fail to authenticate it will redirect directly to login and lastly i will be passing a callback with the request and the result header okay so if your application has uh, or if your request has made this far then um, obviously it has uh, obviously the user has been logged in and what you can do is um, 
result or redirect so you can redirect uh, from here to anywhere you want uh, for your application you can just write the code here but for now i am just gonna comment it out and just add a um, static message to my response header like logged in um so yeah and uh, also i will have to import my authenticate file in here and uh, i think uh, that was all so now let's fire off the server So application seems to be working fine. Now let's move on to slash Google route. And once you are there, you will see all the email accounts you have logged in previously. And most probably I will blur everything right here. And you will also see that our application is listed here. What example? Uh, so uh let's click on an email address and uh, as you will see the logged in response is shown here and now let's go to the console if you are not getting your email address inside the response header uh, as i didn't so most probably what you need to do is go back to your application and go to app.js and inside and where you have created the slash google route inside the scopes you will have to um, add the email scope and restart your server again and uh, then move on ahead and let's load up localo slash google once more choose your email address and you should be logged in just like before now uh, let's uh, go on ahead to our application and now you will see uh, our email address will appear here with our email and uh, as verified okay so that was all in my coming video um, i will be I will be implementing JSON web tokens and do a token based authentication with this. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you want to implement token based authentication. I will also be uploading the code uh, for this on GitHub. And yeah, thanks for watching.